my belief, my mythology, is that, and I'm in, I'm in good company with people like Plato and Confucius and so forth, but, uh, but I believe that our, our deepest self is, is the Buddha nature, is our soul, is our love, our matrophilia, call it what, whatever word you like. Once you discover, just for an instant, that you have a soul, then everything else, doesn't mean everything else is perfect, but it sort of fits into place. I, I had a wonderful experience this morning uh, going for my, my walk, and I, I made a, a sort of more conscious effort than usual. I always, if I'm photographing a bit of a tree or a twig or this, I'm always having that relationship. As I say, photography is the art of relationship. You're having that relationship. And I always, as it were, feel, feel this link, which can be, today was, at least I took about 300 pictures today. It was like, it's like you have this, have this, this link. But today I was even more conscious of saying, yeah, that branch, that twig has a soul, for want of a better word. And, and, and to relating specifically to that. That's what I think that's, that the portrait photographers miss. They don't go for the soul. They go for the appearance. You get Churchill with his cigar, and this one and that. But they, and it's what Cartier-Bresson did. They, they, they're going for that. They're not going deeper inside. Who, who, who is really there? Well, who is the Buddha's in there? And well, Whoever you want to call it is in there. And that's what you've sort of got to try and relate to uh, with, with every photograph or with, with everyone that you're working with in life.